hello welcome back all today in this video we are going to discuss about the same topic that is we are going to discuss how to add the smart buttons using the type equal to action so in our earlier video we have discussed how to add the smart button using the type equal to object so by using the type equal to object we have already added a smart button here for getting the appointments directly from the patient record now here we will see how to add the same button but using the type equal to object so if I go to the coding you can see this is the button we have added right now you can see the button type is equal to object here so we have to get the same functionality by using type equal to actions for for that I will copy the current button and right next to it I will paste the same button itself and I will change the type equal to action here so I will change the type equal to action here so as you are going to call an XML record you have to give here percentage round bracket and you have to close it at right the end with the D so this is the format of calling type equal to action button name you have to give a name here and type equal to action class OE state button icon FA calendar and field name appointment uh, count here which will show you the computed value of the appointment count so now let's see so let us make this change in the string so for understanding the difference between two uh, buttons I will add here a uh, round bracket and I will add uh, as it is of a type action I will put an a here just for understanding and here in the strings I will put an o for understanding the object so I just rename the uh, string string of the corresponding buttons for better understanding that is one for o appointments that is object of type here a is for action now here we have given a name here in the uh, type object we have defined this function inside the corresponding model so here we have to create a record here using this name so for that I will go here and let me take an existing sample let me check if I search this in the code let me take an appropriate example so from here I will take an example which I can use it there so I'll search and let me take an example okay let's go with the this example itself I will copy this record control C and I'll get it and I will paste the copied record here in the top of the screen or you can paste it in your another file or something but I will paste it here and I'll correct the indentations so I have corrected the indentations so I'll come to the bottom here this is the name I have given that is open patient appointments so I will copy this name and I'll give it for this record I'll change this ID to the name we have given for the button and here I have given change the pipeline into appointments for which will suit our thing appointments so I have renamed the string here name here appointments and the model we are going to open is hospital hospital dot patient so I have to give the model name correctly appointment uh, and T is missing here so I have specified the model name that is hospital dot appointment and view mode should be tree view and form view so I will delete the unnecessary uh, views here so I will specify it here that is view modes are tree view as well as the form view in the domain I will keep it as empty now I will keep the domain empty now and in the context also nothing is to there to pass I will make it empty and I will adjust the spacing here and there is no search view ID I will just remove it so we have defined an action with a given name so we have defined and specified this action here and I open patient appointments so this is called right here in the button type action so now let's upgrade the module let's we have copied this and I have dot actions dot act window ID name appointments rust model hospital dot appointment view modes are tree and form domain is empty and context is nothing so I will upgrade the module for that I will go to the apps menu and from here I will upgrade the module so once after the module is upgraded you will get two buttons that is one is of type object and other one is of the type action that which is added now so let's go to the hospital and patients form view I will take with the test 23 
equation you can see two buttons here that is both are coming AA let me check what happens in the view if I go to the we had given key string was zero yeah that is coming something has if I place the mouse over it you can see this is A and this is also A appointment so we have missed some conditions ID so we have changed the string of the record so we can we are you can see this is a field name so we cannot change uh, the string for the two same fields so rather than the changing in the field name I will change the icon for understanding the difference so one for one I will give icon as calendar and for the other one I will give the icon as fa.usd so here what we have the mistake is that I have given two separate strings for same field you can see the field name is appointment code and here also appointment code and I have given different names but I think that's not possible here so just to understanding I have changed the icon to fa calendar and fa usd now I will update the module that I'll go to the apps menu and I will update the module okay the module is getting upgraded so once after the module is upgraded you can see different icons for the different buttons that is one for type equal to object and another one for the type equal to the action so I'll go to the hospital patients home view if I open the test 23 you can see here that is FA icon USD is coming for the action button and the current view is coming for the for the type object so if I click on type object which were I have done already you can see two records are returning but if we click on this new action button we will get all the records because we haven't specified the domain if I click on it you will get all the records of all the patients here it's showing two because we haven't specified the domain so if I taken this uh, action record which is we have defined in the top of the view you can see domain is passed as empty so we have to specify the domain here as we have done in the python side so if i take this search of this domain control shift f and if i search for yeah i can copy this i copy this uh, domain control c and if i paste the domain here here instead of id i have to give it as patient id so right now once we click on appointments button we are getting all the appointments of all the patients but i need only to get the appointment of id of this user for that i have to give domain like patient id that is this field patient id equal to active id so i have given the domain now i will upgrade the module for that i will go to the apps and i will click on upgrade button so once upgraded upgraded this module you can see on clicking the button we will get only the records of the corresponding patient so I will go to the same patient hospital and I will remove this default filter from here if I go to test 23 and I will click on these appointments you can see we are only getting two records right now so the domain we have given in the code get affected so if I click on this button you can see we are getting two which is from the type equal to object and on clicking here we are getting two records that is also from type equal to action so this is how you can define a smart button of type equal to action you can see here button name percentage round bracket a record name square cross this round bracket d then type equal to action same thing FAUST that just change the icon to understand the difference and the same field is used here and here for displaying the count of the appointment and as it is type equal to action it will call for this action that action is defined here here in the action we have specified that id have given us the same in the name appointments a model hospital dot appointment and view mode tree and form should be there and in the domain we have say that patient id should be equal to the current id so this is all about how to add smart button using type equal to action if you have any queries you can comment it out we will reply you as soon as possible or you can reach us through the email our email id is odomates at gmail.com if you like our videos, you can subscribe to the channel for more updates regarding all the updates in Odoo. Thank you.